Hi, this is Andy, K4GKP, and welcome to the Ham Whisperer, and the first lesson in 11 lessons of the International Morse Code course. This International Morse Code course is going to cover all the letters from A to Z. It's going to cover the digits, the number digits from 0 to 9, as well as some punctuation marks and some procedural sequences like AR and SK. This course is generally geared towards amateur radio operators. However, if you have another reason for learning Morse code, like for a merit badge or something along those lines, this course will work well with that as well. And in general, Morse code, if you haven't tried it, it's a fun way to communicate. And it requires very little power, and you can get a lot of bang for your buck as far as the expense of the equipment needed and the, the fun you can have on the air. And as far as amateur radio goes, there are still specific allocations of frequencies that are devoted solely to Morse code. So this is a way for an amateur to kind of break into that and get some additional contacts or some contacts he or she might not otherwise get. Now there are going to be some rules and guidelines associated with this course to help you absorb the material as quickly and effectively as possible. The first rule is that you're going to need a sheet of paper and a pencil. There's a lot of copying that's associated with this course. A pen would be fine. The this is not a course that you can take while you're driving or while you're doing some other activity. You're going to need to find like a quiet space and where you can just focus on each lesson. The second rule is that you want to copy down all the code you hear. So whenever in the video you hear Morse code, write it down. The third rule is that you do not want to read while you are copying down the code. Especially when you're beginning, it's the easiest way to lose track of what you're copying down or to basically get out of the sync um, with, with the code being sent. You just want to focus on each individual character. You can have time later to go back and read it when we're copying down words and sentences and whatnot. The fourth rule is since that you're trying to commit this stuff to memory, it's kind of like trying to learn a song. It's not really mem rote mem memorization like you would do for uh, vocabulary or... Uh, memorizing a formula or something like that. Th th this is, you're trying to learn it like you're trying to learn a piece of music. So I recommend just doing one lesson per day. If you want to do more than one lesson a day, I would recommend spacing each lesson out by several hours. You want to con con basically absorb this stuff in your long-term memory and keep it out of your short-term memory. And if you try to cram all the lessons in at once, you're going to keep it in short-term. You're going to forget it really soon after you finish all the lessons. Now here's basically how this course works. Now Morse code consists of two basic types of signals. A short tone, which is called a dit, and a long tone, which is called a da. There it is. Now characters are made up of a combination of these dits and das. Now Morse had it right when he developed the code in that he used the most commonly used letters and he gave them the shortest code segments. For instance, the most commonly used letter in the English alphabet is E, and it has the the shortest Morse code equivalent, which is a simple dit. Now, this course will start with the more common characters and then move towards the more complex char uh, characters, the letters, and the punctuation marks towards the end of the course. Now, each lesson is broken down into an introduction of a letter, some practice with that letter, and then there'll be some review on the letters that you have learned. And at the end of each lesson, there'll be a random run where we go over everything that you've learned up to that point. So it's important to do the lessons in order is basically the, what I'm saying here. So when you're done with the random run, you can stop by hamwhisper.com and for that lesson's web page or the page for that lesson, there'll be the breakdown for the random run on that page. And with all that out of the way, Let's get started with the International Morse Code. All right, the first letter we're going to learn is letter E. The letter E consists of a single dit. So every time you hear that dit, you want to write down the letter E. 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 E.
and that is letter E. All right, the second letter we're going to learn is the letter T. Just a da, T. The letter T. T. The letter T. 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 Be sure to write these down. And that is a letter T. All right, now let's do a little review with the two letters that we learned so far, the E and the T. Now it's important to note while you're doing copying down code in general, whether it be part of the review, when the random runs, or if you're trying to get something off the air, is that if you miss a character, don't dwell on it, just leave a blank space and move on to the next character. You don't want to get stuck in the quicksand of trying to figure out the letter you just forgot. So keep on going with the message. Um, generally at the end you can go back and the letter you miss will usually make sense and if it doesn't you can ask the person who sent it to resend that part of the message. But in general, if you skip a letter, just keep on going or if you forget a letter, just keep on going. All right, with that said, let's get ready for the review of the E and the T. Be sure to be copying all this down. All right, how did you do? What you should have copied in that run was E, 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 T, T, E, E, T, 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 E, 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 T, E, T, E, E, T, T, T. How did you do? If you had problems with that, go back a little bit in the video and go over the letters E and T again. If you did okay, let's move on to the next letter. All right, the next letter in the alphabet we're going to learn is the letter I. The letter I consists of two little dits, dit, dit. The letter I. Be sure to copy all these down, the letter I. I, I, I. Be sure to copy all these down. And now that we got the letter I, we can put together our first word. Are you ready? All right, listen to the letters and copy down. All right, what did you see, think that was? Again, listen to it one more time.
All right, that word was tie, T-I-E. All right, now that we got the letter I, let's move on to a little bit of review. All right, let's do a review for the first three letters we learned so far. And remember, if, if you miss a letter or if you get confused, just leave a blank space and move on to the next character. All right, get your pencil and paper ready and let's get started. All right, and that's it. What you should have copied down was T-I-E-I-T-T-E-I-I-E-E-I-T-T-I-E-T-T-I-E-T-T-I-E-T-T-I-E-T-I-E. If you didn't feel comfortable with that or if you had some trouble, go back and review, review the first three letters. If you felt pretty good and you got a pretty good copy, stand by and we'll pick up our first number in the next slide. All right, our first number in Morse code that we're going to learn is the number five. Dit, 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 dit the number five. Now, all numbers in Morse code consist of a combination of five dits or dots. The number five is just five straight dits. The number five. Now, be sure to copy all these down. The number five. Up, oh, threw an I in there just to make sure you weren't anticipating. The number five. All right, let's do a random run with the three letters and the number we've learned so far. At the end of the run, if you don't feel you did so well, you can always go back and review the E, the T, the I, and the number five and try the random run again. So grab your pencil and paper, get ready, and let's get started with the random run. Be sure to copy all these down.
And that ends the random run for lesson one. And that ends lesson one. To get the answers for the lesson one random run, you can go to hamwhisper.com. You can find it under the Moore's Code course page at the top of the screen. And just find lesson one, and the random run will be right there. So until lesson two, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.